Hello, in this video I'm going to quickly run through some of the great features available in the iDiaries data grids that will allow you to further modify and structure the data so that you can use it for reports or other means of working with it. It's important that you understand this uh, process because the actual power it gives you will allow you to make sure that the system is operated to its maximum efficiency. So, without further ado, I shall now take you through the demonstration. First off is the filter option. The filter is straightforward and easy to use. Quite simply, move your mouse over the filter here, press it, and it will open the filter line up here. We've covered this in other videos, especially about creating new users, because, as we discussed at the time, removing duplication from databases is an important goal. If you have not got this toolbar available here, you can always go to Edit, and the filter is there on, as an option under Auto Filter. Also, if you don't have the toolbars as I have them, by moving your mouse over to this blue area here, which is the main title menu, and going right click, you have options there to gain extra toolbars. You can even customize them. If we're to use this filter now, here, if I start typing in the filter, the data will be automatically filtered down to what the required data set. If we look in the bottom left hand corner of the grid here, we can actually see the filter has been built up for us. What we have here is a history of previous filter searches as well. By unticking and ticking it, you can actually reinstate a filter query. So you can modify it here and you'll see rapidly the filtering aspect at the bottom left here is automatically dealing with it. If I wish to remove the filter, simply click on the red cross here and all the data is returned. There is another filter option that I have available to me. If I right click on the, on the name title bar at the top here and go filter editor, iDiaries offers you a very powerful filter stroke database query engine. and there, in a couple of seconds, I've created a very powerful query. There's lots you can do, and the best way is the only way to do these things is to have a go yourself and see how you get on. At the end of the day, you can't break the data in the grid. Just as a footnote, whilst we're here covering this subject, if you want to add more fields to the grid, simply again move your mouse over to the top title bar right click go to column chooser as you would with most applications and available to you are all the columns so for example if I wish to add department I move over it I click it down with my left mouse key I then drag the department name up to the title bar if you notice when it's flashing with the cross there that means that I cannot put the thing there because it's not going to dock so it will return itself back to the palette that I just dragged it from there we go so if I go back hold my left mouse key down move it up and you'll see that there's a point the arrows carefully tell you where to position it you can move it in whatever order you'd like I'll do that that now allows me to put the department in There's other ways to work with the data. For example, a new feature that was released was the Show Find panel. 
again if I move over to the title at the top right click go to show fine panel this brings up a panel box that will allow me to search the entire data grid this is a wonderfully powerful tool and it will bring back all references with that particular set of characters in very useful, very powerful and very capable there are other things we can do though when we're working with data for example we can group columns as you would with most applications quite simply move over the column that you wish to group hold your left mouse key down and drag it up and in this area here is the group by column set area and all of a sudden all the data is grouped by column if you wish to remove it from the grouping option simply click on it with your left mouse key held down and move it back into the grid another way of grouping by columns is to quite simply right click over the name and go to group by this column and again that will allow you to group there's other great op features that you can do with the data grid often a lot of them are best discovered just yourself by moving through the grid having a go and seeing what you can do just remember the simple thing is if you put a filter on always remember to clear the filter off at the end of the process one other great feature with the grid is say you were going to go and visit a town and you wanted to find all the people in that town with a set of notes so that you could maybe try and visit as many of them if you simply put the town name in or however you wanted to segment the data you can then go right click select all and then right click export to and you have multiple options that you could export to so if we say export to excel and our diaries will now allow us to have exported that to excel as we can see here we were able to then save the item into the fold to the folder here and we then have a spreadsheet with the data from the data grid this is one of the many great features with our diaries small things that make a big difference to businesses i hope this video has given you a brief insight into the data grid and how it can be made to work for you.